Hello, this is Dennis Dill. I'm here to show you how to uh, get connected with Dropbox. Now, Dropbox is an online storage area where you can upload files, whether it be Word documents, uh, PowerPoint presentations, uh, we can do video, songs, music, anything that you want. And it's a great place because it's accessible to everybody and you can share those folders. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come down here and open up Google Chrome. And I'm going to go to dropbox.com. And it will take you to this page, which is the home page. And we want to go ahead and sign up for a free, yes, free Dropbox account. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my, my real name. And I'm going to use my school email. Now, if you don't already have one, uh, a Dropbox account, then you should use your school email, but if you have an outside one, then you can also use that one as well. Um, it's okay to have more than one account. And I'm going to create my, my password here. And I'm going to agree to the box off, bo Dropbox terms, and I'm going to sign up for free. There you go. Now they're saying that they're downloading it, but you don't need it to be downloading to anywhere. Uh, please note down here it's saying that it's downloading. I would recommend that you don't necessarily need to have this installed on your computer because everything is available online. So if you go back to the regular Dropbox homepage, it's saying that it's dropped and down, but you don't have to install that. This is my new Dropbox. And you can create, you can upload items, you can create a new folder. So for example, because I'm just going to go JSA, and it's that simple. Click out, creating a new folder. Now if I wanted to upload something, and we're just going to kind of play around here, I'm going to say that I'm going to upload the school news show here. If I click this upload, choose the file. And I just happen to have the school show right here. And I can open that and look at it fly up. I have 13 seconds left. And this is actually uploading the 67 megabyte file. Now the great thing about this, this is an item that is too big to actually send via email. So if you upload this file, and yes, it's going to happen fairly quick. There it comes. Yes, I know everybody is nervously awaiting this. And there it is. It is now completing the upload. So in less than 60 seconds, I have uploaded a 67 megabyte file. But see, the big, big thing is, how do I share that with anybody? I'm going to click Done here. Now what we can do, we can share this file out. I can hit share, and it's actually going to share a link to this. Anyone with the link can see it. Now, I'm just going to actually send this out to myself. And we can actually put the message in here. In here. here is the link to the show. And then hit send. Just as simple as that, I've just shared that large file, albeit with myself, but you can actually share it with anybody. And you can restrict it because you can actually put items in the folder and share the folder out. This is really cool when you're actually working with a group of students who may need a large set of files that you want to share out, or people that you're working with, collaborating with. Uh, you can share all kinds of things out this way. So here it is. That is Dropbox in a nutshell. You should go ahead and get one, get it all signed up, and start sharing.